Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on Cambridge Primary Checkpoint for Mathematics Paper 1, October 2023. Let's start. Question 1. Round 3.47 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number part of this is 3. Now the next number is 4 and that's less than 5. So we round it down. That will be 3. Question 2. Calculate 5 by 2 lots of 8. That's simply 5 by 2 times 8, which is 20. Question 3. Write the fraction 15 by 25 in the simplest form. That will be dividing both sides by 5 to get 3 by 5. Question 4. Here are some points marked on the coordinate grid. Why the letters of all the points that are closer to the x-axis than the y-axis. That means if you write on coordinates, so the x-value has to be greater than the y-value, only then it's closer to the x-axis. For a, the x-value is 1, y-value is 2. So it's 2 units from the x-axis, 1 unit from the y-axis, and a is not counted. Similarly for b, 3 units from the x-axis, 2 units from the y-axis doesn't count. C, 3 units from the x-axis and 4 units from the y-axis, so this counts. C is over here. Now, D, it's 4 units from both axes, so it's equal distance from both axes, and it's not closer to the x-axis. That doesn't count. And as for E, it's 3 units from the x-axis and 5 units from the y-axis. So E counts. That's the answer. Question 5. Complete these statements. Minus 16 minus 5 is equal to minus 21. You can also write this as minus of 16 plus 5. That'll be simply minus 21 as you write here. Minus 16 plus 5. That'll be the same thing as minus of 16 minus 5. That's minus 11. Question 6. Use a protractor and a ruler to draw an angle of 135 degrees. I don't have a protractor and ruler on the application I'm using, but then I can show you how to do it. So we can draw a flat horizontal line using a ruler. And I just mark the points or the end points of the line A and B. Now, to draw an angle of 135 degrees, we can measure, let's say from the point A, we can measure 135 degrees in any direction. In this case, because I've taken A, we go this direction, 135, and draw a line over there. If we took B as the middle point of the angle, or the point where the angle is formed, then we have to measure in this direction to draw a line there. So since I took A, we can measure the angle, mark the point using the protractor, and connect it using a ruler. This angle has to be 135 degrees. And we can mark this point as C. That's the answer. Angle CAB equals 135 degrees. Question 7. Write three different prime numbers in the boxes to complete the statement. Dash plus dash plus dash equals 23. There are many different answers. I'm just going to write one. 3 plus 7 plus 13 equals 23. That's the answer. Question 8. Here's a square drawn on coordinate grid. The square is translated. The new coordinates of point D are minus 4, 2, which is this point over here. Write down the new coordinates of point B. So, the square is translated to make the coordinates of D become from minus 4 minus 1 to minus 4 2 so it's going up 3 units and the new coordinates of point B will also be going up 3 units which will be over here marking this point we can see that there's minus 1 comma 5 3 units up so minus 1 comma 5 is the answer Question 9. Draw a ring around all the calculations that are equivalent to 6 times 25 times 2 plus 7. So we do multiplication first and then addition. This is the rule of bod mass. 
where it's brackets, others, which is exponentiation, for example, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Now, the first option, 3 times 50 plus 7. 25 times 2 is 50, so this will be 6 times 50 plus 7. Over here, it's given 3 times 50 plus 7, so this is not equivalent. Now, 7 plus 50 times 6, that's simply going to be equal to, now, as I said, 25 times 2 is 50. Now, 6 times 50 plus 7, if we bring the 7 over here, it's still going to be the same result. So, this is equivalent. Now, 100 times 3 plus 7. Now, 6 can be written as 3 times 2. Now, 3 times 2 times 25 times 2. We can do this to get 100 over here. 2 times 25 times 2 is 100. Now, 3 times 100 plus 7. And this is the same thing as 100 times 3 plus 7. So, it's equivalent. Now, 6 times 25 times 9. Well, as we know, due to the bar mass rule, which I just explained, we do multiplication first, not addition. So we don't do 2 plus 7 equals 9 first. We do all of this first, therefore this is not equivalent. That's the answer. Now going to question 10. Here are four calculations. 17.2 times 4, 17.09 times 4, 1.72 times 39, 1.7 times 39. Draw a ring around the calculation that gives the largest answer. We do not need to work out the answers. Well, if we can't work out the answers, how do we do it? Let's compare. So 17.2 times 4. This is obviously greater than 17.09 times 4, since 17.2 is greater than 17.09. Multiplying both by 4 will not change the sign. So this cannot be the answer. Now, we compare these two. 1.72 is greater than 1.7, right? So multiplying both by 39, the sign won't change. This is greater. So this also cannot be the answer. It's one of these two. Now, how to compare these two? Well, we can write 17.2 times 4 as 1.72, which is 17.2 divided by 10, and then we times 10 again times 4, and this will be 40. So 1.72 times 40. This will give the same answer as 17.2 times 4. And now, this number is the same in these calculations. So, we can compare this one, 40 and 39. 40 is greater than 39, right? So, multiplying both by 1.72 will not change the sign. This value is greater than this value here. So, the largest answer is going to be this, the first calculation. That's the answer. Question 11, here is the sketch of a cube. The area of one face is 9 centimeters squared. Calculate the total surface area of the cube. So there are six faces on a cube. And each face has an area of 9 centimeters squared. So the total surface area, that will be equal to 6 faces times 9 centimeters squared per face. 54 centimeters squared. That's the answer. Question 12. Here is a set of angles. Draw a ring around the three angles that add together to make a straight line. So, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. And using this property, we have to basically circle or draw a ring around three angles that add together to make 180 degrees. So, we can take 100, 45, and 35 degrees. Adding these three up is 180 degrees. Therefore, these three angles are the answer. In case you're wondering, there's no alternate answer for this. These three is the only answer which you can choose. Question 13. The perimeter P of an equilateral triangle with side length S is given as P equals S plus S plus S. A. Find the value of P if S equals 12 centimeters. P is equal to 12 plus 12 plus 12, just replacing S equals 12, so 36 centimeters. That's the answer. Now, part B. Two identical equilateral triangles are joined together to make a new shape. Draw a ring around the correct expression for the perimeter D of the new shape. 
we can see that if one side is s, all sides are equivalent to this one side. There are four of these sides on the outside of this shape. Therefore, d is equal to four times of s, or d equals s plus s plus s plus s. Question 14, here are four digit cards. Use all cards to complete the boxes to create the calculation with the smallest possible whole number answer. So to make the smallest possible answer, we need this number to be as small as possible. Therefore, for this value, we need to have a small value, but then not the smallest, I'll tell you why. And this value we need to have as small value as we can possibly get. Also, this has to be a whole number answer. So that means, so that means this number cannot be five. Since having a five there, we don't have this number possible to be divisible by five. Therefore, we need to make this number a six, four, or three. Now we can make it a six, but how? We want this to be as large as possible, so six. But then we need this number to be 354. Why not 345? Well, this does not create a whole number answer. Dividing it, we get a decimal value. Therefore, 354 is required to get a whole number answer, and that answer is 59. Therefore, this is our answer. You can try any other combinations as well. They don't give the smallest possible answer. 59 is the smallest. Now going to question 15. Here are five cards with a white or gray shape drawn on them. A. Mia picks one card at random. The letters A, B, and C describe three different events. A. Mia picks a card with a gray shape. B. Mia picks it with white shape. C. Mia picks it with a square. Write the events A, B, and C in order of probability starting with the lowest. Well, the probability of getting a gray shape is 2 out of a total 5. So this is a total 2 by 5. Now for white shape, it's going to be 3 out of a total 5. And for a square, it's going to be just 1 out of the total 5. So starting with the lowest, we have C, and then we have A, and then the highest is B. B, peer picks one card at random. Take all the pairs of events that are mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive events are those two events, any two events that cannot happen at the same time. Either one of them can happen or none of them can happen, but then both of them cannot happen together. So Pierre picks a white shape and Pierre picks a gray shape are the two events. Mutually exclusive, yes. Because if you pick a white shape, it's not going to be gray, so this event is false. If you pick a gray shape, this is true, but event 1 is going to be false since it's not white color. Now the second one, Pierre picks a triangle and Pierre picks a gray shape. Well, there is a gray triangle, so it could be possible that event 1, triangle, and event 2, gray shape, are two at the same time. So they're not mutually exclusive. Pierre picks a circle and Pierre picks a triangle. This is also mutually exclusive. You cannot have a circle and a triangle into one shape at the same time. These two are completely different shapes. If you choose a circle, it cannot be the triangle. If you choose a triangle, it can't be the circle. They can't happen at the same time. Now, Pierre picks a square and Pierre picks a white shape. Well, in this case, the card with the square is a white shape. Therefore, these two can happen at the same time. So they're not mutually exclusive. That's the answer.